In this session we're going to continue with our group setup. Now we've already looked at the menu setup, so now we have to go across to the access settings. So we've defined the menus, but now immediately we have a whole lot more to decide. Our first option, for instance, under point of sale, would say allow trading if trading day does not match the system day. That option means that an end of day was not done or it was done incorrectly. So this is a very important option. Then, I said sales and cash sales. So, would this be a supervised override? No, this is a normal user. Would this user be allowed to avoid a line? Would they be allowed to suspend a sale? No, would they, they can avoid a line, but they're not allowed to suspend or void a sale. So now you will go through each and every one of these options and decide what this group would be allowed to do. Remember, we're still busy with our group access. So you will go and define and go through each and every menu, decide what would be allowed to do. When you've completed all your changes, you click on saving the profile. Each option actually has a number. So when at a stage you get to a situation where you've specified, hang on, this user or this group is not allowed to do it, but later on you realize that the supervisor has constantly got overrided, you will allow the group now to continue with this option. Then you can find the option by just typing in the number. And all you then do is you type in the number that you're looking for here and it would then jump to the option. But if you don't know the number, I can also type in a word and say find first. Then it's going to find the first line with the word void in it. And I can say next. Then we'll go to the next one. So you can double check yourself here to make sure that you don't miss anything. For instance here, the on holds. Go and switch these features off. Okay. Always remember that rather be more conservative initially with the security selection and later on come back here and allow the users to do it then just deciding no we'll allow them to do more rather than less and that concludes looking at how to set up the menu and the access settings for groups don't forget to save